This is How to Play Freight Train, which is a very famous old finger style tune. Um, really fun to play and was one of the first songs that I got, got my confidence up with, um, with playing single note uh, melody and then the bum chick rhythm underneath, kind of with Travis picking. Um, this is a custom arrangement, so it's not exactly the same as you'll see with many other videos online or, or in tab. So to get my tab, uh, you'll need to follow that link in the description. And this is arranged for uh, to help with the teaching of this from finger style point of view. Let's get in for a close up. The piece begins on a C major chord and the um, bass line is going, with the thumb, is going to go between string 5, 4, 6, 4. So we need that mobility of the third finger here. And then the melody on the thinnest two strings here. 3, 0, 3, 1. And then it's going to go open when we change to the G chord, the finger style G, like this. And a really slow playthrough. One last time really slowly so you can see what happens together. So we do have a couple of things here happening together, not only with the picking hand with a three string alternating bass, Travis picking, but um, also that third finger mobility can really make this very tricky. So if you have to spend what may seem like a long time just over that first bar, don't panic. That's exactly what learning this level of finger style is, especially if you've not done it before. If you really, I just want to quickly mention, if you really struggle with anything in this video, you can see my free finger style tutorials here, which will get you up to this level, including a pattern called Inside Out. This will really help. You can learn that pattern just here. And that is the crux, and it, we go on from there um, in my fingerstyle course, which is available in book format, but also um, as a download, because it is 2017 at the time of filming this video at least. Um, so yeah, they're, they're the things that will support you to get to this level if you've suddenly had to go there and find that to be ridiculously hard. But let me demo it one more time really slowly. I, I really want all of you guys to be able to do this. It's, it was such a big tune for me, this one. So we begin on that C chord, and it's great to just strum it first. Still strumming with uh, moving the third finger. So that is going one, two, three, four. Okay, then we go to the G chord. different pattern here, so thumb just going between string 6 and string 4, and the melody, so that is a G to a G7, but no middle finger needed basically. And then it's like the intro again, but we stay on the G chord. G7, open, little finger down here. All the time, thumb just going between thickest two strings. And finish that line off with. Recap over bars three and four. Recap from the top because we're halfway through now and I really recommend spending, you know, 10, 15 minutes just getting that and pausing this video 
um, to make sure that you've got this solid before moving on. Everything that's covered in the rest of the song is covered in that intro, trust me. From the very top, two, three, four. Now there is a change, we're in the second half of this song and we're going to begin with the E major and then this cool chord, that bad boy, okay, bit of a diminish there, um, we have this, so this is the E major that we'd start on and then the middle finger moves to the first fret of the first string while keeping fingers three and four in the same way. That's the move. E, first finger, E, little finger. And that little finger's on, this makes it an E7. And the pattern there has changed a little. Now the tricky bit there. is always making sure that um, we do keep this first finger down and we do pick that first string. There. That may take a few goes. It did for me, certainly, but it's, it's all good. That's what we're here to do, we're here to learn. Then we go to the A minor, so standard A minor, and then the middle finger is going to go up and play an F sharp in the bass. Do 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 do. And that pattern. From the E, so the start of this second section, because there's just a couple more bars to go now. Two, three, four. Then we're back to the C. pattern when we go to the G. So this uh, little finger needs to be on the third fret of the second string. And this is so similar to the patterns that we work on in this free video just here, this um, three finger style patterns for, for beginners. together. Slower. And to finish. That would take it round again. You could finish it there. From when we go back to the C, three, four. And we'd take it round again. Let's go from the um, E major. this bit. Okay, 
really good idea to just strum through those chords. To make sure that you've got, really got them under your feet. You're gonna have to, if you're not pausing this video as you go through, you're gonna have to pause it a lot and work on each, each bar at a time for you know, a couple of minutes and then come back to the video to, to check really, but you want to be using the tab, working through it bit by bit, and um, just using this video as a, as a guide. But two, three, four. time even slower. Two, three, four. And if it was going to go around again, Okay, or you uh, have the option to, to finish it there. Let's finish with a slow playthrough now, but I cannot overemphasize enough. If this takes much longer to learn than any song that you've gone for on my channel, that's totally fine. It's understandable. It was the same for me that I didn't learn this, you know, in, in 20 minutes. It, it took a lot longer. It took, I got it in about you know 40 minutes back in the day and then um, it was over a couple of weeks that I actually learned to play it as it were you might know where all your fingers go but it's not going to sound smooth for a couple of weeks a couple of months it's but it's such a great tune to have in your back pocket and um, and really showcase these principles that we've been working on in all the finger style lessons I've been teaching on this channel so let's have a final recap and uh, play through nice and slowly from the top one, two, three, four. So that's how to play Freight Train, best of luck with it and for loads of help you can uh, find everything that you need, all the mechanics to be able to play this in my new fingerstyle course available at andyguitar.co.uk.